Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke Kate for those of you who don't know. And yes, I am a makeup hoarder. Today I'm going to show you how to properly contour your face like this. And it's super easy. Everyone can do it. And it, even if you do know how to do it, stay tuned. Watch. You might learn something new. And yeah, let's get started. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Must be something bad features. you find the beauty goes much deeper. Okay, so welcome back. So today um what I will be using for my contouring is I will be using Born This Way Foundation. Um, this is in the shade snow, so it is about my skin tone. Then I also have an ultra contour palette by Makeup Revolution that I will be using as well. And you can see on the back, it has all these fun shades, and that also has two highlighters. Although for my highlighter or my lighter shade, I'm going to actually be using my Becca, um, my Lilac Geoid highlight, because it's got that nice pink tone that we want. And then of course my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So let's get started by applying the foundation. And I'm actually going to be using my um, It Cosmetics uh, brush. This is one of the ones that they made for Ulta. It's the Buffing Foundation number 110 brush. This is the foundation look. I promise it's not this light in real life. It's just because I have the lights on me right now. Promise I don't look like a ghost always. Now what we're gonna do is get your concealer out and apply it specifically first under the eyes in kind of a triangle motion or sometimes I just like to do like the sun rays type. No, no, no. So a triangle, anything like that, doesn't have to be perfect, of course, because we're blending it out. Then what you're also going to put it is anywhere you have a little bit of redness. It's a really bad allergy season, so my nose is extremely red. And then you also want to put it in places that you want to bring out. So my chin, I want to bring that out a little bit. And then right in between my brows i want lightness to be there because it's about to get dark so now you should look like this i know it's beautiful it's great so then go ahead and blend that out with your brush or sponge another day go by i don't know what got me down Okay, so now that you're completely blended out, now it's time for the contour. Now the thing to remember with contour is the whole point of it is to make your face more ideally shaped or the illusion of better shape. Now, I don't know who made this up, but apparently the ideal face shape is round, like oval shaped. So that is what we're going to try to accomplish with contour. Now I, personally think now this is just my opinion I could be wrong you can tell me if I'm wrong I think I have a heart slash square shaped face so right up top I definitely have that heart shaped forehead because I got the large widow's peak and then my, my forehead kind of goes back a little bit recedes and then definitely my jawline is very structured like a square honestly when I first heard like that was a face shape I got a little upset because I was like I think I have a square shaped head what am I gonna do no one has a square head then I found out Angelina Jolie has a square head so if she can rock it I can okay so you're gonna get your contour brush I recommend something that is definitely smaller than a powder brush but definitely not used for eye makeup so what I'm using is my Morphe Jeffree Star brush, the JS3 brush, and that's what I'm going to be using for my contour. So yesterday I actually used this shade and I realized it has kind of a bit of a gray tone. So today I'm actually going to use this shade right there. And if you don't know where to apply it at first, do this with your lips. And you're just gonna follow that line back. You're gonna start about halfway and then go back. And then I like to start blending it down. Perfect. And 
and then we're gonna want to contour our forehead so definitely where the widow's peak is and make a round shape around your head and that's where you're gonna want to contour to get the illusion that we don't have a widow's peak Of course, that's where all my acne is so and then you're gonna go around the face right at the hairline now don't forget also blend into the hairline okay to get a little bit of makeup or a lot perfect look at that contour now we're gonna contour our jawline to get it more round shape and I'm just gonna go from the tip of where I did my contour line to my jaw in a circular motion to get the illusion of a rounder face Others, where they sink one by one and then now you're going to want to contour your nose and you're just going to want to draw an imaginary line from the top of your eyebrow to the bottom of your nose right there see where it divots but don't start all the way at the top of your eyebrow now for your nose you can get a smaller brush for the contour but since i'm blending this all out anyway i'm just gonna keep on using the same brush now personally what i like to do before blending out this beautiful beautiful contour is I like to go in with my highlight shade and then blend it all together. Make it more cohesive that way. So take the highlighter that you're using and that the highlighter is where you're putting on areas that you want to draw out. So similar to the same places that we put the concealer, but a little different. For instance, the cheek. You're gonna wanna put it on the highest point of your cheekbone. So I like to put it right down in the center of my pupil and then straight across back and then I do a round. So in a bow shape like this. Liars, you're the truth. And I like a lot of highlighters, so. And since I have a lot of pink tone in my skin, I can get away with gold tones, but today I thought, why not show? Becca highlighters are the bomb. You're gonna wanna highlight the center of your nose, right in between where we just contoured. I know, we look really scary right now. And then also on the tip of your chin, and then your cupid's bow, and then right at the top of your forehead. Just lightly blend it into the nose and above the eyebrows. Now that we look like aliens, let's blend it out, why don't we? Okay, so you're gonna take the same brush or the same sponge that you use for your foundation, and you're going to blend it out. And try to go in the same motions that you originally applied. So notice how I'm pushing it back, blending it back into my hairline. And then I'm blushing the contour, brushing the contour forward. Brushing the contour forward. There you go. And that's your contour. You barely even tell, right? But already you can see a difference in the way my face looks. You can definitely tell with the nose. Like, like holy cow, like my nose looks so chiseled now. And you can also tell a little bit with my forehead. Like you definitely don't notice it as much. First of all, I have bangs. So that's another reason why I never really bothered to contour my forehead since I'm always wearing my bangs down only wearing them up right now so you can see everything and then you can kind of tell a little bit on the cheeks definitely right here a nice natural jaw line gives the illusion of a more round face so with that that's all i really want to show you today is how to properly contour especially if you're a beginner or if you really don't know how to contour this is definitely a good video for you as always like and subscribe below if you're not already subscribed thanks for watching She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see